the objective of this video is to use uh, bearing to solve real life problems. So let's read this question. An orienteering course explained from point O. So let me bring this. Yeah, so this is point O. This is where the orienteering course starts. The first leg, uh, the first leg to a point marked A is 120 meters on a bearing of 30 degree. Now bearing, when you're writing bearing, you first always the first thing that you should know is always you write in three numbers or three digits now what is a bearing now bearing is is always with is always with respect to the north so this is from point o and you to draw the bearing or to express the bearing you always draw the north first so what does it mean now a in, a, in short they are telling you this is point a is this is 120 meters from a sorry from O. A is 120 meters from O at a, on a bearing of 30 degree. That means the angle, this angle they are saying is, so for bearing it's always, let me write, okay, bearing, whenever you are talking about bearing, it is always, it's always good to write so that you can see what I am trying to say, it is always from north always from north and clockwise and clockwise okay so that means so can you see I'm, I've gone clockwise so the arrow tells me that you have to go clockwise from north from this point so they're saying that this is 30 degree this is a convention and this is all over the all over the world so this is an accepted now you may ask why did they use 30 to the right? That's a convention. Now, for convention, you don't need a reason. It is so that everyone can use uh, the same expression. Okay, or in simple language, they all can understand the language or they're on the same page, basically. Okay, so that's done. The second leg, so this is your first leg. So this is your first leg of the orienteering course. This is your second leg. The second leg, how are they describing? Begins at A and ends at B. So this is point B. B is in a bearing of 120 degree and 110 meters from A. So this is again from the north going clockwise. This is 120 degree. And this is, I'll write inside, 110 meter, 110 meters. That's done. Now you want to find the calculate the distance from O to B. So let me draw a line. So this is O and this is B. So this is a question. This is what I want to find. So let me label that as X. Okay, now you have to use a little of geometry now. Now these two are parallel lines. These two are parallel lines. And this is a transversal. Suppose if you consider this, I'll try to make it better. So let me drag this slightly like this. So this is this is these are two parallel lines, and this is the the line cutting through it. So what type of angles are this angle 30 and this angle forms a pair of angles? If you remember your parallel line angles they're called co-interior angles they're called co-interior angles in short and uh, we know that co-interior angles in parallel lines so you can write in short this is the geometric rule uh, geometric reasoning co-interior angles in parallel lines are equal to 180 degree okay so they always, if you add them, it's 180 degree. So this is the rule. Okay, you can, if you remember, you have rules of alternate angles, corresponding angles, and this is the third angle. This is called the co-interior angles. Alternate angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal, but for co-interior angles, it is they add up to 180. So if this is 30 degree, I can say this is 
150 degree. Okay, now at point A, this is 150, this is 120 degree. Okay, so let me make this slightly smaller so that it doesn't annoy you. Okay, so now this is this is 150, this is 120. What would be this angle? Or this is angle A of triangle ABO. This angle, the angle that the point adds to 360. So if this is 150 plus 120 is 270 and 360 minus 270 is 90. So this is a right angle. So fortune up this is not the ruler I want for eraser so this is a right angle so I can show a right angle okay so we know now we've got a right angle triangle and this is the hypotenuse so if you remember Pythagoras theorem this is nothing but the hypotenuse so using Pythagoras so let me write using Pythagoras, P Y T H A G O R A S. Using Pythagoras, I can say x squared x squared is equal to 120 squared plus 110 squared. So as I've discussed in the other videos, if you take square root of x squared, so square root of x squared is equal to square root of this whole thing. I'll put this in the bracket. 120 squared plus 110 squared. Which implies x is equal to, so where's my calculator? So let me get my calculator out. Okay, so I can go to run menu and then go shift square root bracket 120 squared plus 110 squared. Close the bracket. That's 162.7. Now, 162.7, let me write that first. Uh, 162.8. So this is 162.8 meters in one decimal point. But the in, in the question, this is in one significant figure. This is in. You've got this in one significant figure, and this is also in one significant figure. So by convention you should write this in one significant figures which is 160 meters in two significant figures because the question the measurements are given in two significant figures so did i say one significant figure sorry this is in two significant figure and this is also in two significant figures okay uh, I will do this question in the next video I would like to finish my videos within 10 minutes so this is the next question uh, you can do this. So the question is, calculate the bearing of O from the finish point B. So this is in continuation with this question. So I would like you to do it yourself, and then you can come back and check the answer. See you in the next one.